Hi, I'm David, if you haven't watched before, and welcome to this edition of Leisure Bit from the Eldis Open Day on Saturday the 4th of September 2021. So we arrived at uh, the Eldis site uh, near concert just before 10 o'clock and got parked up, no problem at all, and then headed into the show ground where they had all of the caravans motorhomes and camper vans on display clearly headed straight for the cv section the uh, camper vans to have a look and see what's changed between the 2021 model and the 2022 model and started off looking at the compass uh, range and then looked at the eldest range pretty much the same with the exception of the interior colors first one to look at was the AutoQuest CV80. Um, so this is uh, the eldest model that you can see here, which is in grey, which looked really nice and had its uh, pop top up, which was brilliant to have a look in. It's the first time I've had a look inside the uh, pop top of the CV80. The spec was pretty similar um, from what I could see anyway, unless anyone clocks anything different, with the exception of the heater controls to the 2021 model but it was great to have a look inside and see the ladder up to the uh, roof and uh, just to actually see it so it's essentially the cv80 is a cv40 with the uh, pop top roof is probably the best way of describing it and um, similar layout to that um, looked really really nice absolutely uh, beautiful van and uh, these uh, came with the standard uh, feature there's standard fans rather than the dealer special we're looking at here one key thing to call out is the cab was the um kind of current cab we have a look around the pop top roof there um it looked it actually looked really um comfortable the video is not really doing justice of how uh, how much that was uh, encouraging to go for lie down and the um on one key update saw is the heating controls for the whale um control in there other than that, couldn't see a massive amount of difference with uh, this year's model. We also looked in the compass version of it with the darker wood. That looked really nice too. Next, we looked at the CV60. Um, so the CV60 is the one with a French bed at the back. Uh, looked really comfortable to have a lie down there. And this is the eldest model, again with the, the lighter wood rather than the darker wood in the um, compass model. Just have a look through um, the van. Again, nothing apart from the heating controls um, that I clocked that was radically different. And again, it's got the, this year's uh, van rather than the updated Fiat uh, van cab there. So as you can see, and uh, but still very nice van, the uh, CV60. And uh, uh, it was great to have a look, a look and see any of the uh, differences but as I only really clocked the um, control panel is different. So then headed back out of the eldest version and uh, went to see Rachel and Roxy uh, and then headed over to the compass version and as you can see with the um, darker wood it gives you a bit of an impression there of the CV60. So then on to the CV40 one of the really popular vans I'd love a CV40 if I wasn't so tall, uh, but uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant uh, van. So let's have a look in. This is the Compass um, version of the CV40. Again, you can see the uh, darker wood in there rather than the lighter wood of the Eldis. And again, slightly more um, powering with there being more furniture uh, in there if you're not quite sure on which colour to go for if you're in the market for a van. Uh, but uh, other than the control panel, I didn't spot any massive um, differences between the 2021 to the 2022 model that we're looking at here. And just to call out again, the cab was the this year's model of cab rather than the new Ducato cab. So none of the uh, vans actually had the, the new Ducato cab in them. There's a shot out of the uh, back door of the uh, Compass CV40 van. Let's have a quick look at the dinette now uh, before we move on to the next van. Gives you a bit of a view of the dinette. It's a lo lovely uh, van, the CV40. And the 80 just has the roof above it. 
and there's um, a few shots of the um, outside of the eldest model. Let's move on to the CV20 now. So the um, CV20 is the one I've gone for. This is the Compass um, version, again the 2022 model, again with the darker wood. So I thought it looked really nice in the uh, darker wood, especially on the CV20. Um, with there being less furniture in it, definitely um, seemed to set off uh, quite well there. Um, so that's the CV20 Compass um, version of it. And you can see the uh, updated controls for the heating again, but same top control panel and same um, gas control panel. Um, so that's through, and again, the cab is the current cab and not the updated Ducato cab, which is expected if you order one for next year. So that's the current cab, but with the 2022 in uh, Eldis uh, and Compass interior. Um, it's got the uh, Dometic fridge, it's got the um, bathroom and shower room, or shower room I should say, there's no bath in it. Um, and then that looks pretty much the same again, except for in the darker wood in this particular version of it. And the eldest version is the same, just in the uh, lighter uh, wood, but uh, same features. Again, this isn't a dealer special, it's the uh, one with the three gas and no microwave and none of the uh, dealer editions in. Uh, but still really, really lovely van and uh, I actually thought it looked uh, very good in the uh, dark wood if you're not quite sure. It's definitely worth looking in person rather than the pictures. There's a quick look inside, say same features as the one we just looked at but with the lighter wood colour and there's just a quick look outside of the CV20. I'll just give you a bit of a view there. Beautiful vans, absolutely lovely. And just a quick look at a few stalls at the top end of the event and where you could go and grab a cup of tea or something to eat. So that's the eldest event. So that was the Eldis Open Day or Ermenheimer Group Open Day 2021 showing the 2022 range. Thank you for watching. You take care.